What is going on, drivers and fellow YouTubers? It's Jay Rich back again. Today's video is, you want to be a dump truck driver? Here's what to expect. It's a damn cruel, cruel world out there. Dump trucking has some of the cruelest of the cruel. Not trying to be negative. I'm just trying to tell you the way it is. Excuse me. I've worked for some of the best. I've worked for some of the worst. I've worked for a lot of the worst. <laughs> I mean, that's just to be real with you. You want to think you want to be a dump truck driver. That's all well and good. One thing you need to know is dump truck driving is a dangerous job. It, it, it is very easy to turn a dump truck over. If, if you're not using your head, if you drive a truck like you drive your four-wheeler, dump truck, not where you want to be. You won't be in this field very long. A dump truck's easy to turn over. It don't matter if it's a tandem axle or if it's a dump trailer. End dump. You can turn that motherfucker over real quick. So, you know, tandem axle is what it is. Dump trailers, you got frameless trailers and you got end dumps, you got belly dumps, all that. You know, belly dumps really don't dump. They just out the bottom of them. You know, but the frame trailers... I've seen dudes turned over frame trailers and a uh, frameless trailer is even easier to turn over. So if you don't have your wits about you, don't have enough common sense, this may not be the field for you. <laughs> of course, if you don't have common sense, you don't think I'm talking to you. <sighs> you know, it, it, it is what it is. I'm, I'm not trying to be ugly to anybody at all. I'm just, I'm just telling you. People want to know how to get in a dump truck. If you watch my last video was um, how, to, how to be a dump truck driver and how I got into end dump. Watch that video. Um, that'll tell you a little bit on how I got into it and maybe help you be able to get into it as well. People want to know, well, what's the pay like in dump truck? The pay is usually very slim. It's, it's on the lower end of truck driving. It really is. The only benefit to driving a dump truck is you're home every night. And unless you're on one of these long haul companies like Oakley, which is Oakley is a uh, owner operator company. Um, for the most part, you're home every night in, in, in dump trucking. Whether it's an end dump or tandem, you're home every night. Uh, so the the pay is it's either it's pay by the hour, pay by the load, or percentage pay. Pay by the hour, I've seen man guys they advertise dump truck drivers for fourteen dollars an hour, and I've seen them all the way up to twenty two dollars an hour for a dump truck. The eighteen and twenty and twenty two dollars an hour is hard to come by. Most of them's fourteen to sixteen dollars an hour. To drive a dump truck. Uh, load pay and percentage pay is basically the same thing. You're making a percentage of what that truck makes per load. So if a truck makes $200 per load, you're getting 25%. Say you're getting 25%. That's $50. Now the percentage varies depending on the company. Some companies are at 20%. Some are at 25 Now, People want to know about benefits. Benefits are pretty slim. They really are, because most dump truck companies are mom and pop shops. They can't afford great insurance. They don't do 401k. The vacation time is a week vacation. The um, Some dump truck companies have junk ass equipment being repaired by not the best mechanics out there because they don't pay shit. Some dump truck companies are trying to be the upper echelon of dump truck companies and they have all these nice shiny trucks with awesome paint jobs and stainless and chrome and all this, that, and the other. Most of those companies I've found, once you peel back that nice shiny truck, there's an asshole of a boss underneath it. It's just the way it is. People want to know what's the BS 
of driving a dump truck. One of the BS that I find most common is that these dump truck companies, at least right here in my area, the Atlanta area, is that they believe they're the only game in town. They believe for them not giving you a job, you won't never find another trucking job in your entire life. If you quit, you're going to have to go flip burgers or something. That's what they believe. And that's just simply not the case. There's a ton of dump truck companies in the Atlanta area. Oh, there's god awful amounts of dump truck companies in Atlanta. The next thing, the BS in dump truck, and this is in a couple other fields too of trucking. You're home every night, but you're on a six day week schedule, Monday through Saturday. And usually Saturday, you don't know if you're working Saturday until Friday evening. You might think, man, we ain't had no work. It's rained all week, whatever. Hell, me and the wife and the kids, we're going to go do something on Saturday. No, you're not. Because that dude's going to call you on Friday evening or when you go pick up your check. Hey, you're working tomorrow. And you're like, man, I can't plan on doing nothing on Saturday. So, uh, the other part of it is benefits. You know, a lot of these companies, they can't handle handle great benefits. Um, I think I already said that. Excuse me. Uh, so, amongst that, you know, let me give you a couple stories of my experiences. Uh, one guy I worked for, he was a complete asshole. He was an asshole to everybody. It didn't matter if you was a truck driver, if you was a guy digging a ditch, if you was uh, the uh, the secretary. He treated everybody like crap all the time. No sense of humor, just very dry, you know, and his turnover rate was pretty high. Uh, most drivers, not even six months, and they was gone. I know I was there six months, and I was gone. He done had two or three other guys in there in, in between the time. Um, uh, this other company, the last dump truck company I worked for before where I'm at now, uh, my mom had passed away and I'm her only child. So I need to go from Atlanta down to Florida where she lived and handle all of her, her affairs. And, uh, uh, I told them, you know, she's in the hospital. She might not make it. I got to go down. That's okay. Fine. Handle your business. I go down there and she ends up passing away. And um, they had sent me a message. Uh, my dispatcher sent a message. Hey, how, how's your mom doing? I said, well, she passed. He said, I'm sorry to hear that. And that was it. I ain't heard nothing from nobody else. Nobody else. Not the owner, not the manager, not the, not the mechanic, not any other drivers. I ain't hear nothing from nobody, you know. So anyway, and that's okay. I don't I don't need everybody's sympathy. I don't I don't need a woe is me moment. I don't I don't need all that, you know. But other companies I've worked for, you know, they'll send flowers or they'll call or they'll they'll do something. They'll they'll try to do something nice, you know. Um but not this company. So and that's okay. Uh so therefore now she's passed and I need to handle her affairs. Now, what I did, this is just me. What I did is I came back after her passing and I told him, I said, I'm going to need a week to go down and clean out her condo, try to get it ready to sell, get all her personal affairs taken care of. And they said, okay, fine. So I go down, but I told him, I says, I'm going to wait a couple of weeks. So you're not without a driver with the truck sitting on the yard for two or three weeks. I'm going to wait a couple weeks, then I'm going to go down. Okay, yeah, appreciate it. Thanks. So I wait, and I go down, and then I start taking care of her stuff, moving her stuff out of her place, and I couldn't get it all done in the one week. So I come back, and I told them, I said, look, I'm going to need another week, but I'm going to wait. I'm, I'm going to wait four weeks, then I'll go, then I'll go down, 
and take care of her stuff. I said, okay, well, now it's time for me to go. I told him, I got to be off next week. Don't forget, I'm being out next week because I got to take care. These little dirty bastards, they're going to come at me sideways and say, well, we're going to let you go down, but this got to be the last time. We can't have you out. Let me think about that for a second. And I says, I said, I kind of thought I was doing you a favor and doing the right thing by not taking all this time in one stretch. I was breaking it up. I thought I was doing you a favor. I guess I was wrong. Second off, I'm 40 years old. I don't need your permission for shit. When it comes to my personal business, I don't need your permission. I'm taking this week and I'm going to handle this stuff. Third thing is, I'm not going down on vacation. I'm handling the business that needs to be handled from my mom passing. Well, 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 we didn't mean it like that. Yeah, you did. You did mean it like that. Or you wouldn't have said anything. If you wasn't thinking nothing, you wouldn't have said nothing. So that right there pushed me over the edge to to really get serious about looking for something else. And and I found where I'm at now. And you know, the other thing the thing with that company is that company was going downhill. The guy who was running was just running that place into the ground. And it was uh three or four months later that, that company closed they closed for for good, you know. Um, you know, so now, 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 uh, now the good side, there's companies out there, uh, that recognize hard work. There are some good companies out there. They recognize hard work. They give you a bonus The uh, uh, try to give you the best benefits that they can afford to give you. Um, new trucks, you know, stuff like that, that shows that they appreciate the hard work that you put in. You know, where I'm at now, there ain't a lot of benefits. You know, the pay's pretty good. I can I, when the work's there, I can make I can make I can make more than twice what I made at that last company. I can make more in one week than I did in two weeks there. So I got a I got a boss, he's he's great. Um if if I need a day off, I can say, Hey boss, I got some personal stuff I gotta take care of. Okay, no problem. If uh and and he he doesn't micromanage. I I'll go for a week or two weeks without talking to him. He'll just send me a text message. Hey, so and so's got so many loads. Handle that. When you get done with that, I got this. Okay, no problem. Text it. And you know, he'll call me, make sure everything's good. If he's got a question, uh he'll call me. You know, but for the most part, sometimes I don't talk to the guy. And he's okay with it. I'm okay with it, too. You know, we've gotten a couple of new trucks. I've gotten those new trucks. I'm on my third truck in two years. Because he recognizes my hard work. And my commitment to him and his company. we got a new trailer. i got a new trailer, too. Now, I've, I've had this trailer for... I think I've had this trailer for about a year now. But he, he, you know, he recognizes hard work. He appreciates the hard work. Uh, there's guys, they have come to work where I'm at, and they don't know how to handle it because they've been, somebody's always had the thumb on them. Somebody, somebody's always micromanaged them. Somebody's always had to tell them when to get to work, when to be here, when to be there, when to leave, when to when to take a lunch, when to when when to take a crap. You know, somebody's always had to tell them that, and they don't have that here, so they don't know how to act. They don't know how to take it. They don't feel like they're welcome or something. I don't know what it is, but you know, when when you realize, you know that you have a place that doesn't suppress you like that, man, it's a breath of fresh air. It really is. It's, I mean, it's, 
I can't, I can't, I can't even, I can't convey it to you on this video on how great it is uh, to not work for some of these people, some of these bad companies, you know, but that's what you're going to find in the dump truck company is these people are, it's my way or the highway. This is what you're going to do. If you don't like it, kick rocks. That's just the way it is, guys. So if you're thinking about getting into the dump truck company, and a lot of this stuff is around the whole trucking industry, but I found in this area, the southeast, this is what to expect. Now, if you go up north, I know up north in a lot of states, dump truck drivers, they only work eight, nine months out of the year because of the weather. That's just the way it is. So you need to be prepared for these things. You need to be prepared for, you think, I'm going to go truck driving school, then I'm going to get in a dump truck. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. They can't, they, can't, they can't hold you. They can't do it. Their insurance won't allow them. You got to get the experience. That's just the ugly truth of it. This is the good, the bad, and the ugly. So, anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching my video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's informative to you. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, and share it with your people. I'm Jay Rich. Keep your knees in the breeze and the shiny side up. We'll be seeing you.